Hi! In this tutorial, I will show you how to make the speed ramping effect in CapCut for PC. Let's do it! Okay, I've got three clips in my timeline. Let's check it out. Clip number one. Clip number two. And finally, clip number three. My beautiful guitar. Okay, for this effect to work, I recommend applying some movement in the camera while shooting the video, like going away or coming closer or circling the object, things like that. First, I wanna apply some image stabilization in all the clips. I will select them all, clicking and dragging. I will go here to video tab, basic tab, and I will click on Stabilize, Recommended. So I wait a while for my PC to stabilize the videos. Nice. Now I'll go to the first clip, okay? And I will click here on Speed tab, Curve, Customize it. And I'll do a bunch of tweaks here. The first point, I will increase up to 10 times the speed of the clip. The last one also. Here in the middle, I will drag it down to approximately 40%. Okay. And I will drag this clips closer to the middle one. Let's check it out what's going on right now. Perfect. Again. Okay, but the effect is not smooth. Is that a way to smooth the effect? Yeah, you can click here on Smooth Slow Mo and I will select Optical Flow. Longer time, better quality. And I will wait this processing to reach 100. Yeah, let's see now what we've got. Amazing! And that's it. I will apply the same effect here in the second one. Okay, so first point up to 10 times the last one also here. Approximately 40% and drag these closer to the middle point. Let's see if it is okay. Nice, but I want a faster slow mo. Let's try now. Yeah, I will also apply a smooth slow mo optical flow. Wait until processing reaches. A 100%. Yeah, let's see what we've got now. First clip, second clip. I'm in love. That's beautiful. The last one will be a little bit different. We will start as the same way, but we will not increase this last one because it's the end of the video. Let's make the other tweaks. Maybe here. Perfect. You can also edit these points here. You can drag and drop here in the clip, but I do not recommend. It's a little bit messy. I prefer doing here in this official tab. Okay, it's time now to apply some transitions to make the effect better, cooler. I will um, apply some transition here between first and second clip and let's see where the camera is going in the beginning of the second clip it's going away so i will click here and transitions and the effects will be pull out here pull out drag and drop let's see what we've got yeah beautiful the another effect 
I will use the pull in because the camera is not getting away. It's coming closer. So, yeah, let's see from the beginning. Magical. Now let's apply some sound effects. We'll click here in audio, sound effect, and I will look up whoosh, whoosh with echo. Yeah, I will drag and drop here. That's here. Perfect. Control C, Control V. Another one here in the second transition. But I want to make some variation here in the second one. So I will click on the audio clip. I will go into Speed tab and I will change to 0.8 and voice tone change. I want the sound with a lower tone. Let's check it out. Yeah, first one and the second. Cool. Now I will apply some sound track. I've got one Chicago MP3. You can use whatever you want. Perfect. I will crop this video. Pressing letter K. I will go until here and I will drag and drop this little point to make some fade out. Let's see what we've got. That's amazing. And now for a final touch, I will add an effect. I will click here in Effects, Vibration Flash. So drag and drop and drag for it to reach the entire video. Okay. And that's how you can make this speed ramping effect in CapCut for PC. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel to get new content every week. See ya!